Hi, I'm RJ Laverne from the Davy Tree Expert Company. Welcome to this edition of Talking Trees. Today we're going to explore another edition of Fact or Fiction. So today's Fact or Fiction statement is, do healthy landscape trees endure summertime storms better than unhealthy trees? Well, that one's pretty easy. That certainly is a fact. But let's explore some of the questions as to how we can help keep our landscape trees healthy. There's clues throughout the tree. So let's look at a landscape tree from the top down. We'll explore the crown, the branches, the trunk, and even the roots and discover how we can keep our landscape trees healthy and resistant to summertime storms. So let's start our discussion of healthy trees with the top of the tree and the tree crown. As we know in the summertime we get a lot of storms with high velocity winds. So what can we do to help reduce those forces? Well the first thing that we can do is some preventative pruning and that's good not only for the tree but for us as well. Why is it good for the tree? Well because if we do some thinning in the canopy we'll reduce the resistance with which the wind moves through the canopy and therefore will reduce the forces that could potentially break off branches that reach the base of the branches in the trunk. It's good for us because preventative pruning will help take care of problems like this. We'll be removing dead wood that could otherwise fall from the tree and damage your landscape or worse cause injury to us. So good preventative pruning will help the tree and make the landscape a safer place to be. So we know that summertime storms can bring high wind velocities and those winds can apply an awful lot of force to the base of these branches. Some of these branches are strong enough to endure those forces and some of them are weak and are going to break. How do we know which are strong, which are weak? How do we know which branches we should prune away and which we can keep safely on the tree? Well, there are subtle signs and clues on each of these branches, and here's a couple of very good examples. This branch attachment with the smaller branch coming in is relatively strong, and we know that because the base of the branch attachment is kind of a wide U-shape, and the branch itself is relatively small compared to the trunk. What this tells us is there's overlapping wood fibers between the branch and the trunk, and that makes for a strong attachment. That's a branch we can keep. On the other hand, we have a relatively large branch here, and you can see that it's attached to the trunk with a relatively narrow V-shaped angle. What that tells us is there's a layer of bark that extends from the base of the branch deep into the trunk. So instead of having overlapping wood fibers, we have a separation between the wood fibers in that layer of bark. That makes this branch attachment relatively weak and we should decide whether we can prune that branch off or whether we can do something to make that branch attachment stronger. One of the options that we might consider is a, a series of cables in the upper portion of the tree crown. Those cables combined with a series of rigid braces at the base of the branch attachment can make that branch attachment much stronger and much safer. So we have two options, preventative pruning or strengthening the branch attachment with cables and braces. So it's important to keep the upper portion of the tree, the crown, the branches, healthy and strong to endure those summertime storms. But let's not forget the root system of the tree. That's particularly important. There's a couple of things that we can do to help protect the root system of this tree. And as you can see, we have a wide mulch ring around the base of the tree. That's very important because that removes the need to have lawn mowing equipment get close to the base of the tree. That protects the roots, it protects the root collar. But as you can see, this particular tree has some surface roots that extend beyond the edge of our mulch ring. Physically protecting the root system is a very good idea and we can do that by the wide application of a mulch ring at the base of the tree and also thoughtfully adjusting the depth of the blade of the lawn mowing equipment so that we're not doing unnecessary damage to these surface roots. There's one more thing that we can consider 
and that's providing the nutrients to the root system so that they can remain vigorous. And we do that through the application of a slow release fertilizer that encourages root growth. Having a healthy, structurally sound root system is the most important aspect to keeping this tree healthy, strong, and resistant to summertime storms. Now there's one more thing that we haven't talked about, and that's how do we protect this tree from lightning storms. We have a tree where we've installed a lightning protection system just down the street. Let's go take a look. Now we've talked about the excessive forces that come with summertime storms in the form of high winds, but there's one more force that we have to consider, and that's the electrical discharge that comes along with lightning strikes. What can we do to protect significant landscape trees from the damage associated with lightning? Well, the answer is to install a lightning protection system, which is a network of copper cables that are attached throughout the crown of the tree. When lightning strikes this tree, instead of the electricity coming down the trunk of the tree, it will race along the series of cables and be directed into the ground, preserving this tree from damage. In this case, we've even installed a fuse system so that the arborist can come back, inspect this tree, and know for sure when a tree has been hit by lightning so that we can do additional checking of the system. Now we've built an entire video on lightning protection systems and you can find that at www.davy.com forward slash lightning and learn more about lightning protection systems. Well that's it for this edition of Talking Trees. I hope you've enjoyed another segment of our fact or fiction series. Join us again next time. I'm R.J. Laverne for the Davy Tree Expert Company.